Hi, I'm Harper Fenler. I am the cocktail resident here at Food 52, and today we are going to be playing around in a non-alcoholic bar. So, as you can see, we've restocked our back bar with a few non-alcoholic options. Some of my favorites are going to be Seedlip and Wilfred's, both coming over from the UK. Seedlip Spice 94 is gonna come through with a lot of notes of cardamom, oak. The Wilfred's is coming through with more orange and rosemary, kind of a fun replacement for a Campari or Aperol. Back here from the US, we have Cali, so we have these uh, non-alcoholic wines, also very cool. A few things that we don't have on the back bar, but that I'm fond of, uh, Stoppi, it's a small bitter Italian soda, comes through tasting a lot like Campari. It's carbonated, it's a really fun non-alcoholic option if you're really craving that bitter orange taste. And Ghia, another one I'm fond of, coming through a little more herbaceous and still getting those bright citrus notes. Always keep a little bit of soda and a little bit of tonic water there. I always have a little bit of fruit, some fresh citrus is helpful, and then some syrups. So these Luxardo cherries are something I'm fond of. These are non-alcoholic, the cherries are great, and you can use the syrup that they're in as well. So these are all great options in terms of expanding your back bar with non-alcoholic options. And there are more and more coming out every single day. So we are gonna take a little look around in our fridge and pantry and see what we can find. Let's see, you can find inspiration in your pantry. Try that, let's grab that, let's grab this. Looking at everything here, we've got some apple cider vinegar, a couple of spices, some herbs from the fridge, lemon, we've got carrot juice, and some coconut milk. We have our apple cider vinegar. We can make that into a shrub. A shrub is a vinegar syrup. Let's go ahead and add a little cinnamon as well. I love using spices with coconut milk. So looking at these components for our pantry drink, let's go ahead and use the Sea Lips Spice 94. And then for our fridge drink, we have mint and rosemary and some lemons and this carrot juice. We're gonna make a rosemary syrup, juice some lemons, Let's bring in the Wilfrid's and let's uh, bring in our carrot juice with that. We have our fridge drink, we have our pantry drink, and let's go ahead and prep some ingredients. We are going to prep our spice shrub and to do that, we're gonna take a little bit of cinnamon, we're gonna break it up and drop it into the bottom of our pan. You can see we're starting to toast a little bit, so we wanna pull it off of the heat. We don't want it burning. We're gonna bring that heat down. Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add our apple cider vinegar. Go ahead and add our water as well. Let's talk about why shrubs are a great ingredient. Shrubs are a way old school ingredient dating back to you know the 19th century. It's a great addition to a lot of different drinks and a great thing to have because a lot of us have vinegar in our pantry that we don't use that often. It's a really nice alternative to using citrus because you're still gonna get that nice bite. We're still gonna get the acid. We can also make it into a syrup to round it out and soften it a little bit. All right, we are simmering. I'm smelling the apple cider vinegar. I'm also smelling all that cinnamon coming up, which is great. So we are going to stir in our light brown sugar now. As that brown sugar is dissolving in, it's bringing out all those really great roasted notes that we got from that cinnamon. We are gonna let the cinnamon steep we're gonna set it aside and let it cool down. And once it's cool, we'll strain it off and we'll be able to use it in our drink. Here we have our strained spiced shrub. I also have my coconut milk out. I have the seed lip right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shrub. A full ounce of the Spice 94. One of the reasons I love using coconut milk in non-alcoholic drinks is it provides a lot of body to the drink. Oftentimes with mocktails or non-alcoholic cocktails, a lot of that body is gonna be coming from syrups. One more trick that we're gonna to use to add a little bit of substance and body to this drink is crushing some ice. So we're gonna wrap it in a towel and we are going to take our pot and we're gonna go ahead and crush it. Now that we have our ice crushed, let's go ahead and shake our drink. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up some of the snow. And we're gonna strain our drink. We're gonna to top it with a little more crushed ice add a little cinnamon, and grate a little nutmeg. And just for fun, here we go. This is the pantry. 
fridge drink. I went ahead and juiced some of my lemons already and I have my mint and my rosemary right here. Like I said, I wanna use the Wilfrid. What's nice about the Wilfrid is that it has that rosemary, which will complement that herb and complement the mint well, but it also has that bitter orange note that we are sometimes missing in a lot of non-alcoholic drinks. If you don't feel like buying a specific brand or buying things and you wanna make it yourself, you take some black tea and oversteep it, you'll get some of those bitter tannins that you're craving. On that note, let's go ahead and make a rosemary syrup. Starting our rosemary syrup, I have a little bit of water in this pan. I wanna bring it up to a simmer and I'm gonna add this chopped up rosemary that I have over here. Let's bring it down to about a minute to 90 seconds on this one. This is really just to express all of those essential oils out of the rosemary. So let's go ahead and whisk in our sugar now. And we are all set. We are gonna go ahead and strain this right away. Let it cool and then we'll go ahead and make our drink. We'll do half an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of this rosemary syrup, and half an ounce of the Wilfrid's. I like using root vegetables uh, in non-alcoholic drinks like carrots and beets because they have a lot of natural sweetness all on their own. Not only that, but the inherent sugars in those root vegetables add a lot of body to the drink. All right, last thing we're gonna do to add extra herbal twists is we're gonna add a little bit of mint into the drink itself. The ice is going to express it back and forth, so all the oils in that mint are just gonna express through the drink. Those leaves are gonna be shredded now at this point, so we do wanna fine strain it. We have the base of our drink in here. Let's top it off with a little bit of soda. One quick note when expressing mint. If you ever see a bartender taking some mint and they're grinding it between their palms like this before they put it over your drink, that's really wrong. If you want to express some mint, all you have to do, slap it a little bit, all that oil is gonna to come to the surface, and there we are, your fridge drink. All right, thank you everyone for tuning in to our non-alcoholic episode of Cocktail Class. Let us know what you're experimenting with. Take some of these ideas and play around with them yourself. And until next time, cheers.